In the early hours of the 9th of August 1942, Canberra, alongside US Navy warships, was in the vicinity of Savo Island and engaged in operations to screen an American invasion force which had started landing on Guadalcanal. Unknown to the crew, an Imperial Japanese cruiser force of seven ships had been dispatched to the area. As a result of the Battle of Sable Island, just over 1,000 Allied sailors lost their lives and another 700 were wounded. Casualties in Canberra 1 were 84 dead and 109 wounded. Bonds are created through shared hardships. These hardships vary from completing simple tasks together in training to serving alongside each other in combat and in warfare. One of the many hardships that we share between our two nations resulted in the loss of life and the ultimate sacrifice of our military members within the Pacific almost 80 years ago. They have no grave but the cruel sea. No flowers lay at their head. A rusting hulk is their tombstone, a fast on the ocean bed. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Can I say that uh, as long as the name Canberra lives on, we're going to be commemorating the Battle of Saber Island and the sinking of Canberra 1 forever.